Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. I want to talk to you about icon lists in Elemental. And right now you're probably going to want to switch off and disappear because everyone knows how to use icon lists, right? It's dead simple. You add an icon list in, you decide on what your items are going to be. I've gone and put an Instagram logo and instead of putting the word Instagram, I've typed the word we rock. And obviously you'd put a link in to where you want them to go. Does it go to your Instagram page or someone else's or whatever? And we've got a Facebook one as well. Just two icons. So what am I trying to show you? Just watch what happens when I scroll over here. Well, first thing, have you noticed? The word we rock is actually missing. And so is join us for Facebook. The words are missing. And you're probably gonna tell me, well, yeah, that's because you've put the font to zero. Well, look over here. It's actually a railway and a font size of 23. So where is the font? Watch what happens when I hover over them. We rock. And I go to Facebook, join us. Look at that. How crazy is that? Huh? Is your, is your mind exploding? And I got some help from Maxime uh, from element.how. Um, if you want the code for this, which I am going to show you, but I'm not going to give it to you in the description. You've got to go to his website, okay? In fact, the link for his, where the code sits, is in the description. So please go there to get it. Now, I had a problem, he helped me out with it, and I'm so amazed by what this code does. And you can you can use this in so many ways. It's crazy, okay? Let's just go have a look at the code. Let's go to advanced, we go to custom CSS, and here is the code. It's, it's a bit of lengthy code, right? This isn't just a simple one or two liner, but all you gotta do when you get the code, I, I, I kid you not, okay? You're just gonna dump it in, right? You just Dump the code in all the way, okay? Don't worry too much about the specifics. Well, you can worry about the specifics. I mean, there is a bit down here that I've commented out. The border radius. Let's just put a border radius back in. Let's go with uh, six pixels like that. So now we have a bit of a border radius. I mean, we could go in and make it like 15, for instance. And we have a bit more of a curved pill effect going on now. I wasn't too bothered about that. So I've just taken it out because I wanted the square effect. Well, the right solid angles and whatever. Now, this code, if you want to start messing around with it and understanding what it is, be my guest, go ahead. The The only areas you really need to modify is the color scheme. Double O, double O, double O and FF. That's going to be blue. So we can literally have these two different color effects going on. Now, what about if you want to add in a third option? Look, this is so simple. Here's the color that is always going to happen for the wording. So I've said the wording is always going to be white. Even though if I go to my icon list over here for the text, I've picked black for the text color. It becomes irrelevant a little bit because it's going to be white uh, when you hover over it. Let me just show you what you would do if you wanted to add in a third item. Let's go to our icon list. Let's go to content. Let's just uh, duplicate the top one. And I'm going to call it, um, I don't know, um, Imran is here. Okay. And I could then put a link in that's going to take them maybe to an about page for me. It doesn't have to take them to Facebook or Insta. It could just take them to an about page, right? You've got to think a little bit creatively here. I'm going to type in grin because that's the logo. And when I hover over that, the color is not appearing. And that's because in the CSS code at the moment, we've only covered off two instances. Look, uh, we've got down here Enf child one and Enf child two. Well, this is dead easy to add a third one. Just copy the code for nth child 2. I'm going to hit return down here and I'm going to add in an nth child. Let's just do it. 3. Okay, look. It's now got the wording. But can you notice here? Right? Facebook join us is fine. Imran is... The rest of the word is missing. And that's because if we go down to the third one, I'm going to change the colour for this to actually be... Um, Zero, 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 zero. So it's going to be all black. I need to make the width a little bit wider. So the width for the Instagram is 180 pixels. You can see the code there. The Facebook is 160. But for me, I'm going to go with about 220. Let's go with 220 and just see what happens. There we go. It's now going all the way across. I'm just going to duplicate this entire section for a moment, okay? And I'm going to get rid of um, everything and just have me in. So at the moment, I am now blue. Why have I gone to blue? Well, come on, logic's got to kick in here because I have now become nth child one. 
I'm going to change Nth Child 1 from um, 180 pixels to be 100%, right? Now watch this, look, it goes all the way across. So it's a bit like when you have like the pointer effect on the menu. Now, why did I show you that? Let's pretend, we're not pretending. What if I was to call this home and let's just get rid of the icon, right? And um, I'm gonna click okay there. I'm gonna go down to my advanced. I'm gonna go to my custom CSS now. Now I'm gonna get rid of a few bits here, okay? Because at the minute the word home is not visible, right? If I just highlight out this section here like that, I've now got home. So I've taken off the transform translate and the opacity. So I now have the word home, okay? I can now hover over it and I get this line shooting across. And why is this really good? I could, if I want, duplicate this, right? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna change this home to be um, about or whatever, right? And look, I could now have a, an entire menu system. The home goes to the home page, the about goes to the about page. And I could have like a totally different color system that appears in terms of the background color or how it appears. And obviously change, mess around with the CSS coding. Big, big thanks to Maxime for this and make sure you go to his site to get the code. Okay, but you could have a pop-up menu, off-canvas menu that comes in with your menu um, vertically. And you could add a bit of an effect on that kind of meets your branding or your styling. And look, this is so simple. This just like blows my mind in what we can do with this. I hope you like and enjoy this because I certainly am. Like, subscribe, share and follow. Check out Maxime's code. See you later, everyone.